So I would define anxiety as our response to the perception of threat. Whenever we perceive something as being threatening, our body, our brain automatically sends a message to our adrenal glands that release adrenaline. And that creates this fight or flight response that includes physical changes. Our heart starts to beat faster. Our breathing increases. Our muscles become more tense. There's also cognitive changes. So we start to think in terms of, you know, where could the danger be? And am I going to be okay? And then behaviorally, we have this urge to, to be aggressive or, or to run away. And a lot of people think that anxiety is bad or dangerous or that we should push it away. But actually, fundamentally, anxiety is healthy. It's adaptive. We need it to survive. And it's not dangerous. So when, when people have clinical anxiety, which means that uh, they're getting their anxiety response when the situation is objectively safe, that fear, that irrational fear is maintained by the things that people do and think uh, in those situations. One process that maintains anxiety is catastrophic thinking. So jumping to conclusions and thinking the worst, kind of what if, what if, what if. A behavioral response that maintains anxiety is avoidance behavior. So if I avoid a situation that I perceive as being dangerous, even though it's not really dangerous, as long as I avoid it, I never have a chance to find out that the situation isn't as dangerous as I thought. And similarly, safety behaviors and other sorts of rituals that people do can also maintain anxiety. And a good example would be, let's say, hand washing for someone who has OCD. If I am afraid of the floor and, and I've touched the floor and I think, you know, now I'm, I've got germs on my hands, I'm going to get really sick. If I go and wash my hands all the time, I'm never going to have a chance to disprove that fear. And so I'll continue to, to be afraid. So in order to treat a problem with clinical anxiety, we can't just talk people out of it. People have to have experiences where they get a chance to learn new information. And the techniques that we use involve exposure therapy and response prevention. Exposure means confronting your fears to learn that they're not safe, where you, you lean into the situations and stimuli that you're afraid of, and you have a chance to find out they're not as dangerous as, as I thought. Response prevention means not doing the typical safety behaviors or rituals or subtle avoidance patterns to try to make yourself feel safer, but instead you're kind of throwing yourself out there so you have a chance to learn, I can manage the situation, I can manage the anxiety itself. And with repeated practice in different contexts, different, slightly different situations, people learn how to not be afraid of the things that they were previously afraid of.